Hey guys, it's a friendly reminder to make sure you go subscribe to Rojas Media Podcast wherever you listen to your podcast for sports takes, opinions, interviews, and more. That's Rojas Media Podcast streaming wherever you get your podcast fix. Tatis wins a silver slugger. No surprise there. He was one of the best players in baseball this year. Offensively, he was incredible in that first month of, uh, what was it, I guess August, right? That was incredible to watch for Fernando, Ta- Fernando Tatis, as long as he can stay healthy, because we saw last year that, uh, you know, he had the injury and he had a limited season, but we knew he's going to be a good, we, we already know he's going to be a great player, and we see it this year. Again, shortened season. Hopefully, maybe if it was a full season, hopefully he maybe he wouldn't be able, would have been able to stay healthy and we would have been able to see incredible numbers over a full season, which would have been really fun to watch. But also, like I said earlier, I, w- I touched on it with Luis Robert. Eloy Jimenez, Tim Anderson, and Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu potentially could be the American League MVP. They all win silver sluggers. This Chicago White Sox team is going to be so fun to watch going forward. And, you know, as a Phillies fan, I have no malice towards the Chicago White Sox. So this is a fun team for me maybe to root for in the American League. Now, I'm a diehard Phillies fan, but, you know, you always got to have your, you know, maybe a few other teams that you enjoy to watch. Maybe you flip on and you're like, yeah, I, I like rooting for this team because because of certain players or you just, you, for whatever reason, you like them. They're maybe the, the personalities on the team. You just, you just like to watch them. So the Chicago White Sox are going to be so fun to watch going forward. Jose Abreu could potentially win this American League MVP. Tim Anderson. A year after he wins a batting title, he wins a silver slugger. And that just shows you that he's not just a great hitter. He can hit for a little bit of power. He's that power's getting there. You know, it's it's you know, and in today's game you gotta have a little bit of power, maybe. And I, I, I like to see guys who have contact, but you like to you like to see guys who have that overall game. So Tim Anderson, man, just won a silver slugger. He's a baller. I said it on Twitter. He's a baller after winning a batting title to win a silver slugger this year. And he hit over 320 this year as well. Come on, man. Tim Anderson, one of my favorites to watch in the majors right now. Eloy Jimenez, man, he wins a silver slugger. You 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 put Yo Makata up there. You put up uh who else? Um Yasmani Grandal, one of the best catchers in baseball, man. I mean, they got it all, man. They got Lucas Giolito, uh, you know, Dallas Keuchel has been good there. He's a little older now, but Dallas Keuchel is, he kind of fits that, fits that, uh, that team really well. They've, uh, they've got some really good, uh, really good players there, man. Cody, Cody Hoare there in the bullpen, really good arm in the bullpen, man, throwing a hundred on a sinker. He's absolutely nasty. They just, you know, they're, they're young, you know, for Rick Renteria to get uh, to get fired, I don't think he was the sole reason, you know, and this is the first year they made the playoffs in however long. So, and at least, like, it seems like 10 years, it feels like. So, for the Chicago White Sox uh, to fire Rick Renteria, I don't think Rick Renteria was a bad manager, but they bring in Tony La Russa. This is going to be interesting. Um, the Chicago White Sox are going to be, an interesting, fun team to watch. They're my team to watch in the American League. They just got to put it all together, man. They, they've they they've got the core there. They just have to add a few pieces here and there, maybe the bullpen, maybe a, another starting pitcher, and they're a World Series contender. And these guys are only getting better. They have a really young core, and they're only going to get better as they get a little bit older. You know, really young. So the Chicago White Sox are really fun. 